with the yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tell the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart Super Circuit. In the last video, we beat the Flower Cup, and in this video, we're going to the Lightning Cup. Look at the snails slithering along the road. Thankfully, there are no snails in the real Luigi Circuit, which is where we're heading now. So this particular incarnation of Luigi Circuit came back for Mario Kart DS, where it was also in the Lightning Cup. Can I get the starting boost? No, I can't, apparently. The yep, main gimmick of this course is that it's raining. So that will make traction slightly harder, I do believe. The rain won't be visible if you're driving too fast, I believe. Yep, and courtesy of the rain, there's also several puddles littered about the course. Puddles are actually quite significant to me at the moment. I know it's talking about current events in a video, so it screws up viewers of the future. But I have to talk about this one because obviously I got my Wii U on Thursday and I can't afford a retail game like New Super Mario Bros. U so I got Puddle as my launch game. I was going to get that anyway and I'm very pleased with Puddle. I've been ranked number two in the world at that game. But then I went to my dad's without my gamepad charger. So I slipped all the way from number two to number 15. I know, it's quite sad. I managed to claw my way back up to 4th, but I've basically given up on trying to place now. The, I'm in 7th, well, no, I checked two days ago and I was in 7th, and the person in 6th was doing way better than me. And, Luigi, why are you hopping? Am I really pressing the R button in? How on earth did I survive that? I don't know. Somehow I'm in 2nd, I'm in 1st, I've been doing quite badly here in my personal opinion. But yeah, so, if you drive over the puddles, if you press B in time, then you'll be able to save yourself, just like if you drove into a crab on Shy Guy Beach, you do get a bit of time to save yourself, so by all means, try to do that. You can just hop over a puddle with the R button. Anyways, I really need to get that row of coins, even though I'm at 35 coins. Oh, that was the last lap and I finished in second. Oh dear, I'm not that good about Lu I'm not that good at Luigi Circuit, sadly. Yeah, look at the factory. The course is completely rotating, yet the factory in the background always stays in the same place. There's also a Luigi blimp, which we're actually going to be seeing again in this course, if I remember correctly. Yep, there's the blimp up there with Luigi's face on it. It's not just saying Luigi because I am Luigi, it will always say Luigi. But yeah, this is the Sky Garden. It also came back for Mario Kart DS. And in Mario Kart DS, I absolutely kick ass at this course. I beat the Staff Ghost on Time Trials, which is something I'll be explaining when I actually cover Time Trial Mode. But yeah, I kicked its ass by 7 seconds. Now I can't really explain how I did that visually here, because the shortcut I used doesn't especially work. But I will say one thing, you want to try and get as many coins as you can in Luigi Circuit because Sky Garden is very stingy with its coins and some coins are particularly hard to get. In general Sky Garden is a pretty hard course, so don't fail it. There's lots of beanstalks and obviously lots of clouds, but not enough coins. Now you may have seen a little cloud floating in the air when I was taking that corner. I'll point it out again when we come to it next. But yeah, that's supposed to be a shortcut which you would use a mushroom to utilize. What the staff ghost didn't realize is that if you used a character with good enough acceleration and off-road stats, then you could just drive over that shortcut without losing much speed at all. And you didn't even need to use your mushroom there, so yeah, that right here, I might as well, yeah, I took it just then, so, how pleasant, yeah, I've only got 16 coins, at 18, it's not much, is it, I told you this course was stingy, but yeah, I managed to beat, I managed to get a really good score on time trials using that shortcut, and now we're ahead of the pack with 15 points, joint with Yoshi, I haven't even explained that I'm playing as Luigi yet, we were even on home course with him just a bit ago. But here we are in Cheap Cheap Island. This course is exclusive to Mario Kart Super Circuit, and it might be my favourite course in the game. 
I definitely do really like this course. I just like beaches in gaming. There's obviously Cheap Cheap Island and Shy Guy Beach. And a crab again. Use that banana. Stop driving into the crabs. How did you miss that amazingly obvious boost pad? That's just embarrassingly bad. Oh well, get past Wario with his star. It's not that bad for coins here. And look, we're driving into those. I didn't even know there was a boost pad there. Wow. But yeah. Oh, there's. We're driving into those birds from Yoshi's Island. I've just forgotten their name at a bad time. Oh, how can I forget their name now? I've been meant. I've been meaning to point that out for how long, and then I forget the name of the birds. Oh well, but they are from Yoshi's Island. This is the only time they've appeared in a game that isn't Yoshi's Island. This time I actually hit the really obvious boost pad. But yeah, the main prominent feature of this course, the crabs, and in the background, the giant cheap cheeps. If you fall into the water, all is not lost. You can drive out, albeit very slowly. If you spend too long trying to drive out, then Lakitu will fish you out instead. But here we are on the third lap. I've got 15 coins and I'm in first place. If I can maintain that place while collecting a few coins, I'll be satisfied and I'm going about that completely the wrong way. But I proper took down Yoshi with a green shell there. See, I'm pretty confident I can win if Toad doesn't be a pain. Come on, Toad. I'm not going to let you stand in the way of this. Good, we're back ahead. Toad is the joint fastest character in the game, so he could be a problem. But he is still on 100cc. So I should be able to take care of him. There, I've got 22 coins and I won. So good. Shy Guy, uh, not Shy Guy, but it's Cheap Cheap Island. Went relatively well and that's three courses down already. So let's move on to... What's it going to be? Is it some kind of Bowser Castle? No, it's not. This is the... Is it the only cup? Yes, it is the only cup in the game that doesn't have a Bowser Castle in it. This is Sunset Wild. I don't particularly like Sunset Wild. I've never been a fan of deserts in gaming, and I've never... I did like Desert Hills in Mario Kart DS, but still, they're desert levels in Mario Kart. Mario Kart Wii had the worst one, but this is quite bad. I think there's a good opportunity to use this mushroom relatively near. Still, there is one thing I would like to show off in this. Now, this is going to be quite detrimental to my driving, but I have to show it off. If you drive through a teepee, a shy guy will attach itself to your cart. It will slow you down severely and nick a few coins. So now I'm probably not going to win the race because I've showed that off, but... I think it's worth showing, isn't it? This is the only course you can do it, and... Come on, that was pretty interesting, right? But yeah, you got to drive across mud there. I call it mud. And there's boost pads there, but they're quite deceptive because there's little jumps in front of them. So you tend to miss them, and it just gets on your nerves. And most importantly, it's a desert course. With also Native American stuff. If you're, in, if you're into that, then it's okay. If you're not into that, then you're not into Native Americans, apparently. Triple green shells, that could be good for slamming into Toad, but no Toad just outsped me completely. I'm on the third lap now, and I've got six coins. That's unhealthy. If I can at least win, I'll be satisfied with that, because I don't have to get 100 coins. See? Those boost pads, they're completely deceptive. You just get flung up into the air. You can actually drive across both of those boost pads if you do it right. I usually can, but I didn't there. So, oh well. Throw away those green shells and whip out the next set. I wonder if I would have won if I didn't drive into that TP. I do have to wonder that. I ought to get less than fourth place on purpose so I can try now. Ooh, red shell! Fine, I'll just get Wario with it and I'll settle for second place because I should be the winner of the cup regardless. Nine coins? That's not very good at all, is it? But hey, I would have had more if I didn't drive into that TP on purpose. So, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm the winner by a large margin. 
nine whole points I won by. So, this is the first cup in the game where I haven't had to do a course twice. Unbelievable, so same victory animation as always. Don't drive too far or you'll get crushed. I mean, that would be quite bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, Toad in third, Yoshi in second, and Luigi in first. Gold trophy. Could we do any... Well, of course we could do better. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, rank C, how many coins did we get? On your screens it'll have appeared by now, but I'm getting lots of lag at the moment. Let's see, 84 coins. So, I'm going to call that an episode right here. In the next episode, we're going to take on the Star Cup. See you then.